Thanks to Quidi X Plus 3, I got my joy of 3D printing back. I just need to find some space where I can store all 3D printed toys. But I'll start from the very beginning. About a month ago, I received an email requesting a review video. I agreed and was waiting for delivery of a new 3D printer. One day I got a call from delivery guy. He said that he brought me a baking oven. I was confused since I didn't order any baking ovens or anything like that. I was honestly shocked when I saw the box. It was gigantic and the picture on the box shows something similar to a baking oven and it was really heavy, about 30 kilograms. Let me you the Quidi X Plus 3. It's a 3D printer that looks kind of like a baking oven. I filmed a nice unboxing and set up footage but accidentally deleted everything. I have only this photo of the box left in my phone and this footage of the chaos that was in my studio after unboxing the machine. But the setup was very easy, you just have to plug the machine to the electricity and follow the instructions on the screen. So I'll skip this part and move to the best. The Quidi X Plus 3 is awesome. It prints six times faster than my old 3D printer. Printing speed is up to 600 millimeters per second and the quality of 3D prints is amazing. Quidi X Plus 3 has an all metal frame. That's the reason why it is so heavy. The weight of the 3D printer is 24.3 kilograms. The Quidi X Plus 3 has a door and a top cover and when you close both of them it creates a temperature controlled chamber. There are three cooling fans inside the chamber and you can control each one of them individually, even while printing. Due to a high speed the 3D printer shakes a lot but it has a resonance compensation that helps to make your print smooth. You can calibrate it anytime from the setup menu. The calibration looks a little bit weird, the printer starts shaking and making all kinds of vibration noises but after two three minutes the calibration is done and the printer is ready to produce some high quality prints. Printing area of the Quidi X Plus 3 is 280 by 280 by 270 millimeters and it has a flexible plate. Before each print the machine does automatic leveling which can be disabled if you don't want to do it every time and the machine uh, take measurements all over the printing bed. Filament is stored in a dry box which is located on the back side of the machine, more about it in a minute. I'll start printing the clutch puzzle from Indian puzzle designer Jirish Sharma. The puzzle has three parts and I'm gonna print each part in a different color. The first piece is printed with yellow filament. It took me about 30 minutes to finish it. It would take me probably five times longer on my old 3D printer, that's probably one of the reasons why I wasn't printing as much. The quality of printing is awesome, I just have to remove the supports and the piece is ready. We can move to the next one. Before printing the next piece, I have to change the filament. But if you put the machine like a normal person would do it back to the wall, you will have a huge problem. There is not enough room to remove the filament. There is not even enough room to remove the lid of the dry box. And there are a couple of options here. Either you have to move the machine 10-15 centimeters from the wall, or you can just rotate it side to the wall. It looks a bit weird, but I will have a better access to the machine from my desk. The downside here is that I can't open the door. I wish I could switch it to the other side like you can do it in a fridge. Probably I will be looking for aftermarket solutions to move the dry box from the back to one of the sides. Before removing the filament, you have to go to load menu, preheat the printing head and then hit the unload button. Now you can just pull out the rest of the filament and you are ready to put a new one. But here's another issue with the dry box. If you use a small spool, there are no problems. Just put it inside, put the filament in the machine and you are ready to go. But if you want to put a spool with one kilo of filament, you will run into a problem. After loading the filament and putting the spool inside, you lock the dry box and the spool is jammed. It is even difficult to pull out the filament with your hand and it is much more difficult for the machine to load the filament, which will lead to the under extrusion. The only quick solution that I found was to unlock two of four locks and then the spool moves freely. I don't recommend to remove the lid since while printing the spool may fall out. The other option will be to send down the middle part of the lid so it doesn't push as much on a spool. Besides that I didn't have any other issues with the machine at all in the last couple of weeks and I've printed a lot. Take a look at this huge SpaceX Starship. It has two parts, the Starship and the booster, and it took me about 20 hours to print it. I would never even consider printing such project with my old 3D printer. And now I have this amazing SpaceX Starship. It is so big that it doesn't even fit in the frame. I don't have enough space in my apartment for my puzzles. I don't know where I'm gonna store all the 3D printed stuff. I've printed a lot of smaller projects like this fidget cube. It is highly addictive by the way. It's hard to stop playing with it. These Chinese puzzle balls are amazing as well. I have no idea why it is called a puzzle, but it is a nice fidget toy. 
This project is called Safe from the Rain and I think it is the best way to showcase the quality of the printer. The distance between the top and the bottom parts is 89 millimeters and the Quidi X Plus 3 managed to print these strings extremely well. I didn't change any settings of the machine, it runs on the factory default settings and the result is amazing. Let's move back to the clutch puzzle. It took me about two hours to print all three parts and the result is amazing. I can already see that the all parts will fit nicely. And I'm not gonna have any issues solving the puzzle because of poor print quality. I'll try to solve this puzzle in a minute, but first I have to finish my Quidi X Plus 3 review. I think it is an awesome 3D printer, fast, reliable and reasonably priced. Do you need it as a puzzle enthusiast or a puzzle collector? You can probably choose smaller and cheaper Quidi printers. But if you're a puzzle designer and you print a lot of puzzles for sale, this machine will definitely will be very helpful in your business. Thanks to Quidi X Plus 3, my Joy 2 3D printer is back and I will be printing a lot. I just need to find some space where I can store all 3D printed toys. If you like the Quidi X Plus 3 and you want to buy this amazing 3D printer, link will be in the video description. And if you want to see my attempt to solve the clutch puzzle, keep watching the video. So let's try to solve the clutch puzzle. Let's check first if the parts fit nicely together, if I don't have any issues with the print. Looks like the parts are very well made which is very good since this puzzle requires some tricky moves to solve it. Yeah, that fits nicely. Let's try this part with this piece. Yeah, everything moves nice and smooth. So yeah, the printing quality is amazing. Just what I need for puzzles. Okay, now let's try to solve this puzzle and see what I can do. There are three parts. These two, they have a similar part here. And I guess this orange piece is supposed to go inside of the red piece. Is this part, the L-shaped part, fitting right here. But there is no easy way to do that. Okay. What can I do? I can put it like that. Rotate it. Yeah, I can rotate it. Yeah, but I won't be able to put this piece inside since the, the part will always be outside of the red piece. So I have to find another approach to putting this piece in. Yeah, as you can see, that's not what I'm looking for. Okay, maybe I can kind of rotate it around the other side. Uh, no, the L shaped part will be facing like the opposite direction or it will be upside down so that's definitely not the way i want it to be inside okay let's take a look at the smaller piece how we can fit it inside so if this piece inside is like that with the l shaped part here i have to find the way how to stick this piece inside so that it works well with the rest of the parts. Uh, that looks good, let's see. Uh, almost good, but it won't, the orange piece won't fit because of this part of the yellow piece. Okay, let's try something else. This was actually a very nice fit. Let's see, this piece goes here, it fits nicely here. And if I add the orange piece, it goes around the yellow part. Yeah, I guess this is it. But how to fit everything inside? That is a tricky part. I already tried this approach and it doesn't help me. I can't fit it inside like this. Yeah, but that would be nice. Looks like there was only one way how to put it in, like that, but it doesn't seem correct. <gasps> oh my God, how did I miss it? This is the obvious move that I was looking for the last 15 minutes. Just check it out. I had to put the parts not like that, but flip this piece and it goes inside nicely. And now I can rotate it and I will be able to put the orange piece in the correct position, I guess. Let's see. 
yeah, quite a tricky rotation here. Have to find the correct place. Maybe the other way around. Let's see. Yeah, probably this rotation will be easier to perform. And yeah, that's how you put the orange piece inside. Okay, that was really fun. Such an obvious move, but <laughs> it took me a lot of time to find it. Okay, now the last piece. Uh, as I remember, it's supposed to go inside like that. But I have to find the correct moves. Uh, let's see. I'm sure that the orange piece is supposed to be first inside. But now I have to deal with this one. The orange piece is on the way. It doesn't allow me to put the yellow piece in. What if I move it? up oh maybe i can move it to this side i did it while trying to find the correct move to put the orange piece like that maybe i can put it here wait a sec yeah that looks nice and maybe now i can fit the yellow piece Okay, that looks nice. Now I have to find the correct moves, how to put them together. So this goes here. You can move this on top. Oh, it's hard to rotate it now. Okay. I have to rotate it. Oh no, I can rotate it. That's good. I can rotate it here. Now this part goes down here and the yellow goes up oh i think this is the last step or oh, i'm close to the last step oh done the puzzle is solved okay that was a fun one really tricky a lot of rotations some of them are very difficult the red and orange parts they were just crazy. I spent a lot of time trying to find this move that helped me to solve the rest of the puzzle. The third piece wasn't that difficult, quite logical, but still tricky to put inside. Great one! And Jury Sharma designed more than one uh, puzzle of this kind, so I'm looking forward to trying some other of his designs. I wanted to try Jiri stick puzzles for a while now, but my old 3D printer wasn't reliable enough to print such complex parts. But now I can finally 3D print and try all the puzzles that I skipped. If you're looking for a fast and reliable 3D printer, take a look at the Quidi X Plus 3. Link will be in the video description. Thank you for watching my video. See you in the next one.